Yes, this is the voice of Queen Omega. And you're listening to Omega FM. Big up. I am a ganja baby. Sometimes my friend them call me ganja lady. Smoking sex. It's no but no maybe. Blazing every day to me ganja crazy. Well, it's around about that time, people. It's Rockstone Chit Chat time. It's half past five right here in London City. So it's time to get a move on with the show. Right, so much more to pack in. But in the meantime, before I t- I'll let you know what's yet to come, let's just get this segment out of the way because uh, time's really running and passing. It's already half past five here in London City, GMT. And my special guest today is an etymologist. Uh, I'll say that again. An etymologist, among other things. Um, and he's got an event happening on Saturday, all right? And he's going to be telling me all about that as well as what etymology is and exactly what he gets up to in, uh, you know, the better part of his day. So, uh, DS Jammers, are you there, sir? Can I hear you? Yes, I am here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. with Mr. P and the uh, Amiga family. You're most welcome, sir. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. How are you doing today? You all right? Yeah, it's just it's super busy. Though. You know, with this concert coming up, it's just, so, you know, it's really intense, you know. So I like, I like the work, work that you've been doing as well, you know, to help me get through this. And it's, it's really, yeah, but it's inspiring at the same time. You're most welcome, sir. You know, I'm always here to serve our communities. That's, that's what I'm about. That's what I do. So you're most welcome. I'm glad that you appreciate that. Thank you for the acknowledgement. Thank you. Cool. All right. So, uh, you're DS Jammers. So, first and foremost, who is DS Jammers? Now, DS Jammers is like a superhero. Well, I used to, I used to have a, I've got, still got a collection actually of the Marvel comics. Okay. And what, what happened to me, I've always been interested in books. Um, I was able to uh, read at two. Um, you were reading from it. age two? Age two, yeah. Amazing. Funny enough, I, my dad couldn't read all right. But funny enough, I was reading at age two. Okay. But then I, when I went into this, and then I was I was topping the uh, eleven plus the eleven plus exam. Nice but then one. I kind of lost it when I went into the education system. I kind of lost that ability. But I was always interested in books. Mm-hmm. And then I, I came in the time of my life where I was living in a van for about two years, two oh. to three years. I was oh, living boy. in a van. Sorry to hear and that. Then, yeah, then I had an experience when it's like I was at my lowest mm-hmm. point, and then it's like all I had left was my thoughts, and I just started to go into myself: Who am I? What am I? Why am I here? And I got to I'm a uh, electron. What does electron do? It revolves. And what does revolve mean? And I realised revolve is comes. There's two words in the word revolve. I said, What's re mean? And I mm-hmm. mean re means to go back. And then it kind of clicked that. I wasn't taught this in the education system that every time I hear the word re it signifies to go back Mm -hmm. you know and then I thought well if I'm in a if I'm living in uh, out of my natural environment, you know, and I should be in a hot place, so everything should be in reverse. That's right. You know, then, then I reverse the word re, and then that means rerun means to go back, run up means to carry out the root, means to go forward. So then I started to reverse the words around, and then I realized like sub means undone. When you reverse it, you get bust, which is a, and then, and, and then the word pit, which is down, you reverse it, you get tip. So then it started to hit to me that there's more to these words than meets the eye. And then my brain just started to research, and then I and I and I started to go into the Greek, the Latin. You know, everybody else was going into Afri- 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 African history. I was re- I was reading Latin books. I was like, well, what am I reading Latin books for? So I just got sort of obsessed with words, and then I found out that I had the ability through this, I had the ability to decipher words and and see words in a different way from everybody else. Right. And I right. went to go to the, to the schooling system, but I wasn't qualified. But when I when I showed them some of the things I could do with words. They testing me and I found that my ability was a eighty five percent at A level and this is without even going to a school in system. Excellent. Nice one. Nice one, DS Jammers. That's cool. That's cool. So your 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 curiosity and inquisitiveness regarding words. What what what, what is that called? I mean, you know, I've been talking about. I've been mentioning the word etymolo- et- etymology. Etymolo- yeah, etymology. Sorry, yeah. etymology. I was going to say etymological. Yeah, but, uh, etymology. I've been mentioning that word, and I'm sure. Uh, many people haven't even heard of that word, much less know mm-hmm. what it is. So, please tell us what what is etymology. Well, basically, inside the words are sounds which I don't teach you, and every sound has got a meaning to it, and the meaning usually usually has a Latin or Greek origin. Okay. 
It's really a code. So etymology, etymology is made out of two words, etymos and, and, and logi. Etymos is the Greek word for true. Mm-hmm. Logi is the, Greek, is the Greek word for either word or, or, the, or the study of. So basically, it, etymology means the true words. Right. So if etymology means the true words, then you have to wonder what, what is every other word if etymology means the true word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so the, the opposite of being true is, must be a lie, you know? Right, right, right. And, and basically what it really means is that uh, etymology is the true word. Every other word is a code. So words are really codes. Okay, okay. Because you go to a dictionary and hidden in the bottom of the dictionary is the, is the true meaning of the word is the Greek or Latin origin which is the true meaning of the word mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so basically when you go to law law is a code when you go to the doctor the doctors have a code you know the rappers have a code it's all language so isn't it it's all, all language, language is code it's, it's mm-hmm. code it's, all language is really mathematics it's really a form of math, mathematics but the very word you say I can calculate you know you, you, I can calculate your next move who you are, what you're going to do next. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Well, basically, this is, this is rough. by the way you dress, I can roughly tell your address, where you live. Okay. And to speak to someone means to address them. You see what I'm saying? Aha. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. You can right. say one, one thing five different ways. Like I can tell, if I want to give you information, I'll say, it's raining. This is a, this is the study of semiotics. Semiotics is the meaning of words. So I can say, if I want to give you information, I'll say, it's raining. If I want to give you an attitude to deal with, I'll say bloody rain. So now right. you've got an attitude to deal with. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. I, if, if I want to send your order, I say don't go outside, it's raining. Now I've given you an order, just using the same word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you just see? how you construct the sentence in the syntax. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. I want to have a relation with you, I'll say, oh, terrible weather we're having. Now we're, that's a relationship. Oh, okay. yeah, because you said we. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm getting re- I want them to relay information to me. So I'll, I'll put it in a form of a question to get them to relay. Very to clever. Me. I'm gonna have to watch what I say to you in future. <laughs> <laughs> and if I want to make you feel something, that's like, oh, the, the rain is seeping through my clothes and the, the shattering lightning is beating on my ears. Then I'll oh, give you a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Very expressive. Yeah, how yeah, you can then, use words. Then, that's it. And then the cold is now. Here is the weather forecast. That's the cold. You see. Right. So that, that's basically giving you a cold word for rain. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how language. This is the power of what they do when they go to grammar school. You know, because mm. when when you put forward something, it's called pro, like project, projector, uh, projectile. Yeah. yeah so yeah. every yeah, every word pro yeah pro means forward. So when you put in forward grammar, it's program. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, true, it's quite simple when you break it down, I suppose. That's yeah. right. That's how simple it is. Basically, if you want the master to see, will hide it right in front of your very eyes. As they say, mm. it's very clear sight, sight you know. Mm, mm, and that's mm. what I found. It's hidden in the word, word is a sound. Mm. There's a sound hidden in the word, very word, word. Because when you look at the word, word, and you, you see the word O R D, O R D gives you the sound ORD, mm-hmm. as in audio signal, as in audience who are listening to the audio audio signal in an auditorium oh but the okay or, add the word er to the word uh, word order you get the word order, order. uh-huh yeah order and ordinance so basically i'm saying your order and i'm putting in directions so basically when you they give you letters they hide the sound by giving you a bunch of letters put together so you focus on the letters and you don't see the hidden sounds in them like uh-huh. return you want this is what they do so basically everything's a disguise everything's a code so they're actually complicating something that's very simple that's yeah that's yeah, this, yeah. This is the real problem. When you go to school, you know, you know, you know that the sound. You, if you're talking about sound, you know what a sound is. But if I tell you phonetics now, you, you have to study what phonetics is to find out. Phonetics just means sound. Yeah, well, it's from phono. The word phono. Which yeah, is, phono, yeah. Pho, word phono. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. So basically, all they're doing is they're just complicating something. That's yeah. every, everything around us is just to complicate, to put it in a code, to make it harder for you to understand what they're saying. So they're just making something simple, difficult. Co- yeah, complicated, yeah, yeah. That's right. 
Well, well, you're not actually learning the skill. Oh. All you're learning is to say the word in a different way. So when you're saying sound and phonetics, you study phonetics to know about sound, but that doesn't give you any extra skill or ability with words. Right, 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 right. Gosh, you see how these people stay? <laughs> That's right. Twist up your head, man. All right. Twist up, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But as I said, we're breaking down the code now. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So, so you're going. I take it you're going to be breaking down the code this Saturday, yeah, at this event. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that, that's yes. Okay, so, so tell us yeah. about this event. What are you, what are you, what are you up to? What, what's what's going to uh, be happening? Well, what, it, what it is as well, because through me doing this, uh, through me doing, through me, sorry, through, through me doing that. Okay, through through me through me doing um, this. I, I my friend said it's all of a sudden I started to sound like Socrates. You know, so there's always what's happened to you. <laughs> Man in the room. Yeah, where's Jammers you know? gone? Where, where him gone? <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Anybody who really knows me, I, I, they always knew I had a lot of books, but you can't get a, a word out of me, you know? Mm. So all of a sudden, I'm starting all of this, my friends, you need to write this down, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, my, my, my notes became piles and piles of notes, mm-hmm. you know? And then, and then I wrote books, and I've written two book, three books now. Oh, no. uh, one's on decoding language, the other one's et- on etymology. Right. But then I found I could speak to you, you know, on the radio shows, but when the one in front of people, it was a different ball game, mm-hmm. you know? And, uh, and my philosophy was is that, you know, when you, you can actually you can actually bring things into reality. So I decided to form a speaker's club. I didn't want to join any other speakers club i just made up my own one okay you created the speakers club yeah i created the speakers interesting. club interesting yeah. okay tell us I some create, more uh, well basically we absorb things so you know you can just be with somebody in the same room when you've picked up the information you know we don't need to it's just like dancing so you see someone bust a move you can bust a move you don't need a whole heap of paperwork and to study true you know? so, so i thought surround myself with people who i can absorb information from uh-huh. so by that i just created a, a speakers club you know, I, I created a speakers club. It's based on an idea that I, uh, I had about ten years ago mm-hmm. when when I got invited because I, I had a, one of the first books ever written in a, on on the art of speaking. Right. Uh, it, it was credited to Cicero, but really it was found in North Africa. And half of it is in Latin, half of it's in English. Somebody saw me reading it, and I got invited down to this place. I didn't know where I was going up, but it was down down a uh, down in uh, Central London uh-huh. uh, in Holborn. And it was one of the bad speakers clubs that I did. I didn't know nothing about them before, you know. It's in the corner rooms. Oh, it's the corner rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down yeah, Holborn, yeah. That, uh-huh. Yeah, so that was like 12 years ago. All right. All the politicians and everybody went to go and study their Big wigs, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't even know what the hell I was going into, you know. So so I, so I remember that from like sort of 10 years ago. So I just decided to set up my own one. Cool. You know, and it's, it's just grown and grown. It's Excellent. Grown. And then to become self divided Self-defining, you know, as in Amos Wilson and Marcus Garvey, you know, mm-hmm. you got you got to set up your own in- environment, you know. Right. So it's just developed from that, and now we're we're doing our own awards. Okay, know, and, and and this is your first awards, isn't it? First, uh, the first awards. So basically, we started from uh, the Marcus Garvey Library, which is a good start, and then we used to go in the back door in the Burning Right. Now we still be going in the main theatre. Okay. You know? All right. So so who are you going to be awarding? Well, the, the, if, if anybody wants to see the nominations, they can go to the, 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 the Speakers Club, www.thespeakersclub.co.uk, mm-hmm. uh, to see the list of nominations. We've got some big, uh, big nominations there. Uh, we've got 21 categories. Yeah. And then people can, uh, uh, they can go and comment on the website to see, okay, I mean, they can comment on our Facebook or, or on our YouTube channel, uh-huh. which is the Speakers Club, on who they think deserves awards. So basically, it's got 21 categories and there's three nominations in each category. Wow. You got your work cut out. That sounds like yeah, a yeah, lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> and there's some serious competition in the categories as well, you know, serious okay. competition. Good, good, good. And, and uh, we've signed over General City from America. Uh, Detroit, USA is going to be there as our keynote speaker. Also, we're having a conference. Great. Well, and the conference is on, on a regenerating the family. Mm-hmm. 
and the genius of the black child. Beautiful, beautiful. That sounds really good. And, and that's going to yeah. be that. All that's going to be happening on Saturday. All of that. So we're, we're cramming all of that together this this Saturday. Okay. Yeah. So wh- where is it going to be? It's going to be at the Bennigrat Art Centre. Okay. Uh, and that's Town Hall of Road Road N15 for RX. Right, the Bernie Grant Centre. I'm sure most people know where that is. N15 yeah. for Romeo X-Ray. Okay, X, cool. Yeah. I think we've got the ad on. You've kindly sort of put it, the ad on your station as well, so I think people can get the information from that. Plus, it's going to be screamed live worldwide as well by right. pay for view. Uh-huh. So people can watch this anywhere in the world, so they can, mm-hmm. they can spread the word as well, that they can watch it anywhere in the world by visiting the website, www.speakersclub. The uh-huh. real essence of this is to create um, financial wealth, Okay. So basically, we're united with the US of A, and and we love to speak a lot, but there's never new, no, never any action. Yes, no. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. too much talk and not enough action. Absolutely, not enough action. Yeah, so this is not just a lecture. This is what we, you know, we're combining. We're, we're linking up with Seth, you, which is he's a cool guy behind all the all the bravado and straight talking, and you know he's a really good guy. And he, you can see the bigger picture behind it. So we, we're just linking forces. So we're, it's a work in progress. We're going to, you know, have more events like this where it's pay for view. Uh, next year we want to do a Black History. No, sorry, not Black. It's a, a Black Relief Day. You know, just before Black Friday to stop us, just to intercept our funds. Oh, yes. Before we yeah, spoil yeah, the yeah. funds. Yeah. So we want everybody to, to, to contribute a pound globally so we can create financial wealth so we can become self-funded. Okay. And then we, we can award people who are actively doing things for the community. Mm. You know, that's, the big, that's the bigger picture is that this now is the time for action. It, know, it, it, is no yeah. it, it is indeed. It is indeed. And the templates are there. That's the thing is, people ain't really, they're talking a lot about like Lamarcus Garvey's and Amos Wilson, but they're not reading the books because the templates are there. These are geniuses that have actually were experiencing the hardships that we're going to be having shortly if we don't pull our act together. That's right. So, Absolutely. Yeah, and the, the formula is there. We don't need to read any more books. Yeah, it's there. Just, that's the what I was going to say. Yeah. Everything that we need, we already have it. Yeah, you, have look, it, yeah. You, you don't have to look yeah. far. We already have what we need. So, yeah. Okay. All right then. And oh, by the way, I've just had a text coming from uh, Lyndon. Lyndon Wissart. Oh, right. Say hello to Lyndon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's listening yeah. to you right now, man. He's listening to you right oh, now. Really and, he's, and he said that he really likes the idea about, you know, of what you're doing Saturday and stuff, oh, which thanks. is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So we just like people to just to share it around, you know, even just by energy, even if you don't go, just, just share the information. Sure. And put the information in this place. And we like to give the uh, city's coming all the way from America. Yeah. You know, so we want to give them a welcome. Of and, course. And of course, yeah. this is just a start of future links between. Between the US of A and America, we're not in a competition. You know no, no, I mean? no, no. Let's work together, and this is what that's what it's all I've about. I've been preaching that's this for decades, about. mate. You know, until we start working together, we're not going to yeah. see any unity. So, so no. yeah, cool. And I think the difference is because people like will bring an artist over, but they're not artists themselves, so they kind of put the artist on a pedestal, right? You know, but where we see ourselves in the same category, so yes. we're working together. Yeah, your peers, your peers. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're working together. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's, that's that's how it is. I've been having a look. A lot of conversation with Seti on the phone, and he's a really cool guy. He's ready to sort of do what he can to mm-hmm. you know, bring some unity, and uh, we, it's all about regenerating the family. Yeah, you know, great. The other thing about language is it's, to, it's block it. Basically, the language will, they will tell you that it starts from Indo-European. They've cut um, the hieroglyphs or the Nubian out of the equation. Well, they always do, don't they? <laughs> there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture why they've done that is because to create a language, you need a level of consciousness and a, and a, and a philosophy. Mm-hmm. You know, the marks don't just come out of nowhere. It's a, it's the high level of consciousness that you need to create a language, right? You know, which is activated by our natural ingredient called menelin, uh-huh. which, which, which stimulates the pineal gland. P- pineal right. gland, that's right. Yeah, yeah it's all about the pineal which, gland. Yeah, that's right. And their, their pineal gland ca- calcifies. Yeah, you know. So we've got the ability to go into the unknown and pull things. That, just like how we dance to music, just how we are far everything. It, it affects we everything because unknown. yeah, because I was reading about um. Uh, as a people, uh, us Africans, mm-hmm. we're actually more spiritually evolved. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I, I was. I, I've, I've read that a few places. So yeah. Well, the, well it's, a, it's, a, it's this ingredient called menelin. Yeah. Basically, that's, oh yeah. That's, 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 that's our access to, into the unknown. So there's, it's not science. It's really science. They have to work by calculation. They have. They can only work by what they see. Mm-hmm. 
You see, everything they do has to be recorded or measured, just like dancing, but we work with the unknown. Yeah. We are the unknown. We are the mystery. We don't okay. work with things that we know. To create something, you have to do something that you've never done before. That's right. Start from scratch. That's Come the only way nothing. to create. Yeah. And that's what we are. We You, you can't create with what's known. You know, yeah. so this is what we have to do. This is why word language system is designed to shut us out down our consciousness mm-hmm. and our philosophy mm-hmm. because philosophy didn't exist in the Greek language as a word. They didn't have that word in existence. Okay. They were living like swine, and that's a quote by Plato. <laughs> he was he's ashamed of being a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> in his whole own words. Oh wow. Oh wow. So this is what they hide is the consciousness and the philosophy that you need to create these marks called language. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. All right then Jammers. Well listen, we 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 it's, it's we've only got ten minutes of the show left, yeah. So give, no give, problem. So give us a shout give, give us a shout for Saturday. What what uh, what what you know, plug it again. So it's gonna be happening. What's the name of the event? It's it's called uh, the Speakers Club Awards. All right, the Speakers Club Awards. Visit, mm-hmm. Yeah, visit the website www.thespeakersclub.co.uk mm-hmm. to see the list of nominations. Oh, so we're also now number one on Google. Well, in the, in the, on the first page on Google now. Excellent. Uh, they, we're, we're on every website on the first page. Excellent. Uh, on, nice on, one. On, 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 no, every every sorry, every different um, like uh, the Google, right, um, the, every, all, every different all, search engine. Yeah. Yeah, every search engine, we're, we're on the front page now, you know. Good. This is what, this is, yeah, that's another thing we didn't marginalise, because they like us to marginalise. Well, I didn't marginalise like the Nubia and the African. I said the speakers, because like this, this is the. That's right. The, another is a defining term. When you say the something, that means you are the most, you know, you're, you are the... That's you are the, 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 that's yeah, right. The is another way of controlling, because if I say the cat or the shoe, you have to look directly at it. So ah. the word dirt, that small word dirt is the controlling device. Oh. If I say, <laughs> that, that, is wow. the, one of the, that is the most powerful word in the language is dirt. Because you're, you're, you're focusing someone's attention on a specific thing. If I want to put you in a, suspend, a sense of suspending animation, I'll say those shoes. So you'll see the shoes, but you won't know which ones to pick up. Right. Or these girls. you see the girls, but you, you won't know which girl I'm, I'm talking about. Uh-huh. So these little words, like the and these, are the most powerful words. If I want, to, if I want you to have a possession, I say you're shy. That's my car. So these are possess- these words call a, cause a possession in somebody. Uh-huh. You're an idiot. Don't touch that thing. So you can see that's the power of a word that you can make someone be possessed with an energy, wow. you can direct their focus, or you can put them in a sense of suspended animation. Wow! You know? Wow! So actually, we're, just, we're trying to make this the event of the year taking place. Bernie Grant Art Centre, Sarah Suit and Seti. Also, we have uh, Dr. Abu Ratata, Galaxy Massive is going to be in the house. Uh huh. We, we also have Edison Abanji, African spirituality. If anybody's never heard of Eric, Edison, oh yeah, yeah, I know he's him. unreal. Uh-huh. He's uh-huh. unreal. He's an unreal person. When you see him, <laughs> he will put you in touch with your ancestors. Unbelievable. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to be there as well doing my thing. Um, uh-huh. We also got a high powered panel. We've got Paul Lawrence from 100 Black Men. Mm-hmm. We've got Israel Pickings Peace Treaty. We've, we've got Lyndon Waters, behavioral psychologist. Wow. Uh, we've, Sister Angie's going to be there You've as well. You've got a huge lineup. That's a huge really good lineup. lineup. Yeah. yeah, Edison. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Errol Hines as well. Okay. And we've got Bat Theatre going to be performing as well. The, the topic, the topic of the day. Uh-huh. We've even got interest from David Lemmy, so he might wow. be coming down as well. well. Who knows? So, <laughs> Who knows? No. We, we, we won't hold our breath, though. We won't hold our breath. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really appreciate you and the, and, the, and the Amiga family as well. You know, I've, I've got to come down the studio one time. Yes, man, I'm definitely. Great, you're, you're always welcome, my brother. You. You're always, yeah. you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Yeah, All right. and I, I'd like to recommend you. Anybody wants an event on, you and a man to contact, you know? Oh, thank you. Definitely. Oh, my definitely, text line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice respect, yeah? All right, respect, nice one. Yeah. Well, listen, I'll see you on Saturday. I'll be down there. Great. All right, Great. and and no, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for taking our time to join me on on Marvelous Mondays right here on Amiga. All right, no problem. Okay. A quick line for tickets or information: zero seven nine three one four one seven double five three. Once again, zero seven nine three one four one seven double five three for tickets and information. Double five thank three. You. Right. Okay. Excellent. I, and I, I'll give that a plug for you as well. All right. All right. Appreciate nice that. one, Jammers. You take care, and we'll talk soon. See you Saturday. Yeah. Jesus, Beautiful. Back. Take care, my brother. Thank you so much. Okay, that's the DS Jammers from the Speakers Club. Yeah, yeah. That was interesting. Etymology. Mm-hmm. That little word, that tiny little word, the, is such a powerful one at that as well. Such a powerful word, the. 
Okay, good to know. Good to go. All right. Going to spin you a couple of tunes, and I've got some real solid information coming up, so keep it here. I feel the vibe. 